Lori. I'm Anna. And I'm Jessica. And we are coming to you from the home of Arkansas Yarn Company uh, in Malvern, Arkansas. <laughs> and today, today is like crazy town weather-wise because it's been like freezing and like a couple weeks ago the cold tried to kill us and today it's 70. It's so gross. It's so gross. It's, it's, it's crazy. I almost wore a long sleeve dress today and like I, I had it, well I had it on and then I was like this ain't gonna work. No, um, it was definitely t-shirt weather today. Yeah. It's crazy. It is now 68 degrees at 530. That's, I don't, I don't appreciate it. I'm not a fan. What you doing over there? I she dropped little my spill. stitch markers. You're just flinging? Apparently, I'm just dropping all my stitch oh, markers. Oh, before I forget, don't we have a viewer that has a dog that likes to watch us? Uh, I think if I you remember say seeing so. something about that. Somebody sent you like a video of the, okay. Oh, yes. Um, they were knitting and we came on and the dog was like, hi. And then I was like, what does this dog look like? I need to know right now. I mean, like, who doesn't love dogs? And who doesn't love dogs that are knitting companions? And who doesn't love dogs that love us? So I keep meaning to ask I what have... this dog's name was so that wow. we could give the dog a shout out. Can you please tell us what your dog's name is? Whoever, whoever um, has the dog. I know it's in your messages. I think I missed it. Is it... Like, You're the one that showed me. It's okay. You can't remember everything. I've had a lot of things go through my mind, and I've had a headache for six days straight. That will jack with a person. I mean, like, I haven't felt well all week. I tried to get her to tell me the name of one of the yarns that she dyes, like, even. repeatedly. And she was just like, I can't. Uh, what? <laughs> what I'm sure like? I said it, it that the, dramatic, too. It was the party in the mailbox. I'm um, like this. I can't. <laughs> she, she was just like, I just, I can't do this. I just can't do I right can't now. Think. Um, <laughs> it's, it is the, the, I think it's the weather and it's just, well, because it keeps it's killing going, me. Like, it's freaky, crazy. It's yeah, crazy. It's, it keeps changing and nobody, nobody does good when the weather is all wonky. I know, I and don't And it's do not it because it I don't upwards. do good that they don't do good because I'm bad. But it's just, like, I had to leave early yesterday. It, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. my eyeball is throbbing right now. She gets, like, all... Yeah. So I'm going to try to drink... I'm going to thin my blood a little <laughs> so that maybe my head won't hurt so bad. I'm going to drink I mean, my coffee. What do, you, what do we have to lose? I have tea. I have decaf. Yeah. Um, what do y'all have on the needles? Decaf. Decaf. Well, because we, I mean, oh, they're yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, I get that, but like you never drink decaf. I do if I well only if you're like on a caffeine like break. Well, or night. I try not to drink the caffeine at night. Oh yeah, okay. I guess that makes oh, sense. Oh man. Okay. Have you guys ever had the bottle you know how you can get the bottles or whatever of Starbucks at the checkout counters? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I got a Dunkin' Donuts one the other night. Uh huh. That's nasty. So I, some of them are okay, but none of them are ever like super fantastic. Oh, this was like even near even the even. even like the Starbucks ones are not like. See, I like a lot of the Starbucks um, ones. I like I like the Starbucks ones too, but I'm really trying hard not to drink caffeine. Mm -hmm. Um, except for if you're social drinking with Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I do make. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I make Molly a cup of coffee every morning. It's not really and a cup of coffee. Right. I mean, it's let's, a bowl of like, coffee. Let's not and come for Lori by, for giving her and Yeah, it's, don't and be. it's really not a whole bunch of coffee. It's like it's, a it's teaspoon like, and then It's actually and then. three. I take a little <laughs> teaspoon and I do three spoonfuls out of, if I were drinking coffee, my coffee cup. And then I put three in there and then I put a whole bunch of half and half in there. So really, oh, Molly has you half and half flavored coffee. Coffee, half and half. Well, it's really milk. with a touch of coffee. 
Well, and some well right now they didn't have Fair Life, so oh. I like Fair Life milk for I buy Fair Life milk for Molly. The whole milk. The it's whole milk and it has thirteen percent protein because she's a girl, <laughs> baby girl. <laughs> I got protein in it because she's a girl. <laughs> I bought my dog eight dollar half gallon milk. <laughs> I don't know. It's nuts. I don't know why I give Molly that. Fair Life is the most expensive quart of milk there is, but that's mm. what I buy my dog because she's a girl. <laughs> if she were a boy, though, it would be yes or no. Oh, wow. You don't get the good stuff, little dude. Y'all, stop it. <laughs> and then you suck it up. Suck it up, Buttercup. Hey, Jessica, I buy you the best of everything, too. And yeah. she's a girl. <laughs> oh. So what have you been working on, Anna? <laughs> Ooh. So, you guys. Last week, I think I... I yeah I had finished something because um who um was it you, you had it finished two weeks ago I thought yeah so when I say last week I mean last podcast just give oh, it okay okay cool so <laughs> I had finished hats and um I I had to use my hat a few times with that like kind of coldish spot so now I have. Oh man, that is the cutest baby hat. I wonder oh, if my goodness. I should have brought like a something. Hmm. To oh yes, and like you know, so fill it out. So okay, uh, you can put it on top of your coffee mug. It's no, I have something in my coffee mug. Well, take it out. That one back there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like. Are you telling me to just chug my coffee? <laughs> We're slow today. We're sorry. No, it's gonna that's be a not going to work day. either. No. Okay. Hey, we're so... here to entertain you. If you're not entertained, it's not our fault. <laughs> so, okay. There's like little tiny ear flaps. It's like so precious. They're short row ear flaps. <clears throat> and did you love it? I did. I mean, like the top, the tippy top. So is tawny. Yes. It's the cutest. So the um, oh maybe if I do this yeah okay so put your hand behind it the, also if you do it like this it looks like a nipple it's got a nice box decrease on it it which is I think like well, cute. look how cute the little top the pattern is. didn't call and for a box decrease and look at the little decrease. ear flaps oh. I mean it was more like pointy huh. this is. But I was, I didn't. When Jessa has a baby, make her one of these two. It's so cute. Except for in green. It's adorable. So, yeah, that is what I made because I am going to be an auntie again. In a matter of days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very possibly. It's entirely possible by the time this podcast comes out, the baby will have been born. Mm -hmm. His name is going to be Tommy. Yeah. Precious little baby boy. Tommy. He's uh, very active. I went with um, the mummy to uh, one of her appointments, and um, they like they were monitoring him, and he was getting really well. He he kind of he was taking a nap, and then the nurse came in and was like, "We gotta wake this baby up." And she comes in with this thing that vibrates and makes noises and, like, shoves it right into the belly. Really? And Tommy was just like, whoa, lady. And he woke up and he was moving and shaking. And then the next appointment he had to go to, she did that again. Well, that gel they spray on, that big gloop on you, it's Mm -hmm. freezing. Hmm. He's probably like, hey, lady. So she... It was cold. Those straps got put on him again, and um, he kicked them off. Because they were cold. He was like, lady, I remember you screwing around with me last time. Stop it. Yeah. Hey. (laughs) I'm screaming in here, but you can't hear. Yeah. So we're looking forward. We are looking forward to a new baby. Yeah. I may not want one of my own, but... We want one. We want one. <laughs> we just, we'll have a communal baby. We want one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. 
You were told that you were either getting a house or a baby. You're not getting both at the same time. Well, I don't expect one at the same time. But I do <laughs> expect one after a house. Mm. I mean, look, I'm the oldest. I'm not old. But of my siblings, I am the older. All of them have uh, my... No. My... No. Yes, my brother and my sister... My okay. Two, so two of, of my your, of two your of my siblings. four have grandbabies, and I don't. Mm. And I just, I don't really have to be like everybody in the crowd. Oh my goodness! I don't. So I don't know why mm. I did this. I don't need to but close it down, girl. I probably should, especially for you. That looks so good. Okay, she I. She had this. Show them. Mm. Show them because that looks. I wonder so if you yummy. can see that. So it's like spinach-filled pizza sticks or something. I don't know. Screenshot it. We'll put it up on the screen. Oof. That looks really, really yummy. Oof. I want it. Um, what do you have on the needles, sister? Um, so I've got quite a few things on the needles. Um, today I casted on um, a pair of baby booties. I mean, like casting on is like the favorite thing. Um, I because I, I find the yarn that's also better. would like to give a little gift to little baby Tommy. Tommy. <clears throat> um, but I finished one right before <laughs> we started podcasting. I love it, Jessica. Um, I actually bought Tommy a gift because I don't have time to knit him something. So I am so also I purchasing small. Tommy. <laughs> I'm also purchasing Tommy a gift, um, and I'm picking it up this weekend. I'm going to knit Tommy something, but it, I can't be done with it today. <laughs> but um, I started these little baby booties. This and it is... matches your little t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, it's so cute, Jessa. Um, so it's leftover yarn from my um, cable, cr cable crush Crap. hoodie um, that I made. So I had some leftover worsted weight yarn. And I found this pattern for free on Ravelry. Um, and it, it's uh, seamless baby booties. Um, and it's called, oh, I don't even know that I want to try and pronounce that. Mm. Um, that sounds interesting. Baby, oh, how shoosh. Oh, and they put in parentheses English. Oh, well, this is the, the English instructions. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is... <laughs> you should just take a picture of that and we'll post it. I will. Yeah. Um, mm. I'll have Lucas write on the screen, but it's, I, ba I, I think it basically is baby house shoes. I think so too. I house think shoes. it's called house shoes. Oh. I love shoosh. the way they... Yeah. Yeah. House shoes. Um, it's German. The original version of this pattern is German. So what's um, the spelling on that? H-A-U-S-S-C-H-U-H-E. Um, but it's a free pattern. It's on Ravelry. Um, and it's really easy to follow. Um, I mean, I made... Slippers. Yeah, slippers. Um, I made one in a work day between getting up and helping customers yes. and talking. And I mean, it, it took me about six hours to make this today. It, no, no, not even that long. The shop is only seven hours. I yeah, think it but probably, I had it finished by four. I think you probably but did that the, in about four hours. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I were to sit, yeah. just sit down and yeah. work on it, I pr it probably would have only taken me about four hours. Um, but I'm currently working on the other one during the podcast. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I can get this one finished tonight as well. Um, that way, if the baby is born tomorrow, then I can at least send them with Anna. Um I love it so much. The little tip top of it right here. That it's is so, cute detail. Yes. It's, I mean, that part's my favorite part. It's I a love little it. bit easier to see in the picture of the pattern. It so is. I'll have Lucas put that up on the screen. It's, it is so precious. And the <clears throat> yarn color, the yarn itself. I mean, I mean it's snuggly this and is so our, soft. This is our seaweed colorway. We don't dye it very often in pretty much... I'm for the, Jessica. <laughs> I'm the only one that has used it so far. It, it's like um, a signature color for Jessica. It's like your personal but, color. But I really like this color. Um, it's been one of my favorites recently. Um, and I guess since I'm talking about it, I will go ahead and show the other project that I'm working in that color. Um, this is my outline tank. 
Um, I think I showed oh. it last time. I've gotten probably about four inches further it on good. it. Um, but I've really been working on um, the Anne sweater test knit recently. Um, I think I had just barely started it the last you had. time we podcasted. I mean, I think there was just only a few inches. Um, this is so good. But I've been working on this and I've been working on that. Um, I love it. And so I, I made, I went a few extra inches on I this. I saw that you put my yarn aside for my flutter butt shirt. Mm. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so I've been working on that. Um, I, I organized. So after the you first did. of the year, when we came back to work, I was in the office and I organized. For the whole day. For a good portion of the day. Uh, tell them what her daddy said. <laughs> um, and I took and I took all of my because over New Year's, I had decided to um, over New Year's I had decided that I was going to do a make nine board this year um, for things that I want to make this year, and then I also did a whip nine a whip nine make nine board for nine of my whips that I would like to finish this year. Um, oh, no. oh no, oh no, oh no. What'd you do? Well, I'm doing these, I'm doing these socks on 32 inch, two at a time, and I pulled my cable too far. Oh. Because 32 is not really comfortably long enough to do them, but that's no. what I had. Yeah, you need to switch to a 40. Yeah, um, this is what I had. Sorry to interrupt you. So over New Year's, um, somebody that I follow on Instagram, uh, Nick Knack Knits, um, she posted um, two Whipgo boards for It's like 2023. bingo. So it's bingo for your whips. Mm -hmm. um, and it started, <coughs> the lady who started the idea had actually made it for herself for her cross stitch. It's a good idea. Um, and ev every month she pulls two numbers out of 25 um, and she works on whatever whip is assigned to that number on her whip go board. Um, so she has started doing, started sharing that with people and she says, your board, your rules. So whatever your goal is to get done in a month, you get it finished like that's that's the goal and by the end of the year you've blacked out your bingo board um well i decided to go ahead and gather all of my whips and put together a whip go board of my own my goal for each month is to work ten, at least 10 hours or finish um each of whatever block for that month um, so because I started this after January 1st, I already knew that numbers 6 and 10 were drawn for January. I went, and went ahead and put the Anne test knit and my outline tank on there as numbers 6 and 10. And then I went through um, the office and gathered, well, I went through my bedroom and gathered what whips I had in my home. And I brought you have them whips here. at your home? I had a photo. You brought them couple. here? <laughs> <laughs> we said take them home. <laughs> he was talking about a gift that was left here for me while I was on my honeymoon. Because Anna told him to tell me to take my shit home. I said what gift? gift. What gift? A gift that was left here for me while I was on my oh, honeymoon. Oh, yeah. We know about that. So, yes. Oh, I just didn't it know you had. I it, didn't know you had. Yeah, but he wasn't knitting. referencing other things. Oh, I just didn't I know think that you he had. Was. He just didn't know it. <laughs> I didn't know that you had. It was all in whips at your house. I thought you had all your whips <laughs> that you carry in your birdling bag with you. No. Um. So I had a few whips at home, and I had some whips here. Um. And I had some yarn here that I had set aside for yeah. other projects that I haven't started yet. That we died for them. So not it's not just that we but, died, it's yeah, other but, yarn too. Yeah. So I had some stuff here and I went through all of it mm -hmm. and I 
consolidated them into one area. And I labeled put, them. So and that's all a good of, thing. All of the yarn that I already had set aside and planned for other projects, I went ahead and bagged them all up and I put the and I put Get a tag friend. in there. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> she's wanting to tell me to take all of my shit home. Oh, oh she is. <laughs> and sometimes, so here's a little thing that makes me feel super dumb. But I'm looking at Jessa and sometimes making faces, forgetting that if she's looking at the camera, she can see the it. Screen, she can just look at, and I'm, I'm just like, hmm, hmm. So <laughs> I went through all of my whips and I put them all in one place and I made a list of all of the whips that I had down here at the bottom of my bingo board. And Which I will say this because you carry most of them in your Burnley bag. I didn't know there were this many. Well, there's not 25. So there oh, are things on okay. here. Okay. There are things on here like my crochet yeah. chevron you blanket. You put them on twice. Well, I've or got three my... times. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, one, there are two. some things that are going to take longer than 10 hours a month to finish. Because yeah. you have chevron blanket on there at least four times. Yes. But that's a 12 month long project. It is. So I've got several things. I've got some things on here several times. Don't be defensive. We're not judgy. We well, have a lot. I have a lot of whips too. Um, but when I once do, I, but I'm not organizing them like she did. Well, once I wrote it all down, I've got um, twelve whips, which See, really isn't terrible. I don't no, think it's no. not. No, that's um, like hardly anything. You should see what I have in my so, house, which Anna has. So mm -hmm. I did. I did go mm -hmm. over this. <laughs> so I did. I did go through this, and one of the whips that's on here is my Whidbey bag, and the only thing that I have to do with that is weave in. That's like mm -hmm. is weave if you in. Did I that, saw that. You, if that you, was you on there. literally, yeah, if like, you just took a couple hours, that would be completely done. Well, and that's the thing is that there's things on here that really wouldn't take me very long to finish. If I would just sit down and work on okay, them. Okay, but so, wait. So on this, are you waiting for her to draw that number for you to get it done? Yes, because I have other things that I want to work on this year. Okay, but, but so you have it. So when she does I two, that's when no. It would just hunt. be it would just be two. Oh, okay. So when she draws two and say nineteen. Will you sit there and finish that entire thing? Yes. Okay. So I do feel like you're getting super defensive when the only thing I'm judging you about <laughs> is you have all of the, your yarn here. I don't have all of my no. yarn here. Okay, I know that. <laughs> Technically. I don't have all of my yarn here. What I have here are my whips because we put them in that bag. Remember we yeah. put that bag mm -hmm. up on top of the cabinet mm -hmm. that had all of my whips in it? Mm -hmm. And then I went through all of my yarn that was here that had pre-planned projects. Mm -hmm. And I'm going through my stash yarn yeah. that I don't have planned projects for, mm -hmm. which is what this is. See, you guys, she's defensive. <laughs> no. You should We're not see judging. the yarn. I No, I am too. Hey. <laughs> hey. hey. You want to talk about somebody's yarn stash? Remember when Let's it talk about hers. Mine is off topic. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of on topic. I mean, I'm, I'm, fairly certain. Certain. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that she has more boxes of yarn in I, the crates. Okay, so I own a yarn store. Here's the I thing. can have all the yarn I want, and I don't have to answer to anybody. It's mine. <laughs> Here's the thing about those boxes. They do take up quite a bit of room. So? If we would take them out of the boxes? No. Right? <laughs> no. They have to we, stay. You know, hold on. What if we contacted Cheryl and counted how many boxes you have and asked if we could get that many poly mailers? <gasps> I love that idea. And move them out of the boxes and put them in poly mailers. Well, we do have our own poly mailers. They could go in. Or we could put them in our own clear bags. We don't have to have them in. But... They have to I stay. Feel like that's permission. They have to stay I intact. Do too. Was that I permission? Was permission, <laughs> y'all? This is progress. <laughs> Let me say this. This is a proud moment. I'm fairly certain that all y'all know that I get Cheryl's yarnable every month. 
I get Cheryl's Yarnable every month, and I adore it. I love it. I look forward to it, mm -hmm. and I'm unapologetic about it. I love it. Okay, but what are you doing with it? I leave it in the boxes that it comes in <laughs> in order, so it looks like tiny little shoe boxes on shelves. And I like it like that. Which, because who put it's it like mine. That? Anna had Anna to put it like it. that. Anna was like, this shit is getting out of control. Order? I did not mean to just say that I word. love them. <laughs> I love them the way they are. Cheryl is my one of my very best friends. She's my best friend, Bestie. And I love getting that. And she I, does. I love it. Okay, so I... It is the highlight of her. What else do you have on the needles? So I showed <laughs> this guy and I showed this. Discussion is over. Um I went oh, ahead. What about that bag? I was gonna show them That's during acquisition. the acquisition. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> the girls are they're like salty or something. I, I, or perhaps it's me because my head is killing me. But um mm. the girls, y'all, the girls. So zesty. Not girls. this not this most recent Christmas that just passed, but the Christmas before, um, Anna ordered me mm. and my mom yarn. Guess who did not get sparkle? For um Good Noodle. Good so, Noodle. So we order she ordered them from Good Noodle. Um and I left the tag in the back and I don't remember and what I this am, colorway is called. And I I did not get sparkle <clears throat> and Jessica did. Kathleen. But um, show, show that and maybe Kathleen can tell us what that colorway so is. So it's a dark, like jewel toned rainbow, which is super fun. Um it's but beautiful. I went ahead and purchased um Stephen West's 2023 year of socks. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and my goal is to work on to work on and finish every single month this year. Is that aside from that sheet? Correct. Or it's on that. Well, sheet? it's it's on my make nine. Okay. okay. So it is on my make nine that I did. I did. So the, the sheet is exclusively work in progress. This is just whips. Okay. okay. That's why we just didn't understand it all, and so we're just trying to yeah, understand it. I think it all. that you're just more advanced than us. We are. We suck. We do. Well, so that's I'm just. I'm fine whips. with that, though. I'm fine. Yeah, that's just whips. I will that say does not this: include the things that I want to make. This she year. is my daughter. I'm a Type A woman, and Jessica also is an overachiever. <laughs> I totally There's, did not picture that much involved in it. I'm like, I have post-it notes sometimes. That. I don't have that. Um, so <laughs> I'm a, I'm a fly by the seat of my pants. Yeah, it's gonna grow. Wing it. I did yeah, cast. It's good for me. Um, <laughs> this past Thursday, I did cast on the cable trellis socks when the pattern came out. Mm -hmm. So cute. Um, and this is all. Well, I've got oh, I forgot about that. both cuffs started, and this is as far as I got on the actual patterning uh, of the leg. I love what you chose. Um, this I know. this. Purpley gray is Dragon Horde's um, oh, healer so, colorway. Oh, um, I want to. It's either healer or Highland, and I would have to double check that. I think Highland is darker. I think, I think it's Highland is. I think, I think it's, it's healer. healer. This particular, this is the only skein of yarn that we've gotten in from Dragon Horde that did not have a label on it. Yes, yeah, and so, so Jessica snagged it up. This is herself. her myth fingering base. So pretty. Um, it's her 70, I think it's her, it's either 75, 25 or 80, uh, 80, 20. I think it's 75, 25. Um, but I decided to go ahead and pair um, the rainbow with this because. So pretty. It's really pretty. And in this picture, it looks purplish. It's a gray. It's, it's a, a gray, purple. But it has a, it reads purple as well. It's got it a purple. so gorgeous. It's got a purple undertone to it, but it it's does. like a gray. It's really pretty. Um, so I started the cable trellis socks, and so those are going. Um, so pretty. They are. Love it. Um, and then I had seen before New Year's, after you went on vacation, so I was at your house. I didn't go on vacation. I went away for the weekend. It's not vacation. With friends to okay. celebrate New Year's. I did. I went on a New Year's weekend. It was a vacation. <laughs> it's not vacation. Vacation is longer than two days. You were gone for longer than two days. Oh yeah, you were. Gosh. <laughs> oh 
I was. You were. You were too. <laughs> um, it was. It was. It was a mini. Like, can we call it a mini vacation? Okay, so, <laughs> while you were on vacation, um, long or y'all, short, y'all, help a sister out. While you were on vacation, um, Maddie uh, from We Share Needles um, on Instagram, she's made by Maddie. I um, I saw a, her post, um, and I don't remember if it was a post or if it was a story, um, but she posted about the Jervis gloves, J-E-R-V-I-S. Um and I thought they were absolutely adorable. Um, I'll have Lucas post a picture of what they're supposed to look like. Um, but Anna got me this skein of yarn, and I don't. I, she got you got me this skein of yarn for Christmas this year. Yes. And I don't remember what the yarn company give me, give is. Me that. That's pink. It's so pretty. Um. um and I don't remember what the of... colorway is called, and I don't know what I did with the band, unfortunately. That is so um, pretty. But it's working up really pretty so far. Um, I'm sorry, Jessica. I thought I'm I had knocked so, over. Sorry. I thought I was knocking no, over your glass. I was grabbing <laughs> it as your arm was going down. and, and it, So I've started working pretty. on it. It's a um, Two Sisters Yarn Company. It was Two oh, Sisters. Oh, Two Sisters. And what's it called? Mm-hmm. Can you check? <laughs> make. Make. No. Mm, I'll figure it out. Well. When we when I figure, I I'll have Lucas put it up here on the screen. But it's from Two Sisters Yarn Company, um, and it's working up really pretty so far. I like the Just colors like the that are in it. Um, they're really nice and bright. Um, but I've worked on those a little bit. I worked on these at the horse races this last weekend. Um, and then the last thing that I have on my needles. I love this is the Anne sweater the Anne sweater yes by Melanie Roundtree and it is from Anne of Green Gables the inspiration is from yes. Anne of Green Gables when y'all see this you're gonna see why um <coughs> I'm sorry I have a tickle in my throat look at that sleeve so oh my it's goodness been, it's so good it's been squished in my bag let me fluff it so y'all my sweet daughter is making this for me well it's a it's a i love it i wanted to help her out she's a local um she's a local designer she's from jonesboro um and so i have gotten past the neckline onto the body joined it in the round um i may i stopped after about three inches um and worked on the one sleeve got it finished um, and then I put it on the mannequin to take a picture and I decided while I had my needles off I would go ahead and finish the neckline. It's a rolled um, Each of the hem lines has a rolled finish on Which it. Which I completely love. Um, and then I have picked up for the second sleeve. So I will be make it pop is the name yes. of that. Okay. Make it pop. Um, and so I will be working on the other sleeve um and hopefully by the next podcast i should have this finished because i've pretty much exclusively been working on this recently i love it so much i cannot wait to, for it to be finished because i'm super excited to wear it and that's really kind of you and it's it i'm actually really enjoying that yarn it's the Ilamani amelie that we carry here in the store. It is decadent um, And it is 56% silk, 40%, no. Yeah, 56% silk, 40% baby alpaca, and 4% merino. Yes. Have you used it before? Uh, this is the first time I'm using um, it. I used it to make the Christina hat. Mm -hmm. uh, it is such a pleasure to work with it's a it very feels good it's a very interesting yarn in its construct in the construction of it's the yarn tube. itself because it's a tube uh -huh. and i think the 56 percent silk is the actual tube itself i agree and then i think the baby alpaca and the merino is blown through it i think, I think so it's too. blown yarn i'm telling you this it is lovely and, and i was really hard pressed to do that very soft pink like our walls 
or this gray. It's called I know that both. I would wear that gray. Oh, well, yeah. I would wear that I pink as well. But <laughs> that gray, that gray is, I'm going to wear that hat that I made, the Christina hat, with mm-hmm. that. It's going to be so good. I love it. Thank you for doing um, that. But it's that's pretty. all the whips that I have. I know I, on, I only have five and it took forever for me to get through my whips but that's all that i have um i have some i have i have scott's christmas socks on the needles from uh the cozy knitter i got distracted i've been distracted on a lot of things and so i put his socks by the wayside for a few uh and then i pick them up when i want something that i don't have to really really think about um So I've been knitting these and I love her 2022 advent calendar. I do these every year for Scott. This is the third year in a row. And then I also add an extra stripe for every year that we've been married. So uh, this year we'll have 35 stripes in it because we've been married 35 years. And, um, And then I also have been working on, y'all, I know I showed this last time and I'm so in love with it, but you know, I have put a couple more, whoops, thank you, a couple more rounds on my anthology throw. Y'all, this is like, look how psychedelic that middle is. I love, look at that. That is like the coolest thing. This is my yarn. And it's decadent. It feels so darn good and squishy, and I love it. And I am, I have done, let's see if I can do this without making my stitches fall off. So over here, I'll do it here. I'm in this, I have done, I've uh, worked really hard being fussy with all of this striping, and I've carried the yarn uh, at the beginning of the round and alternated skeins so that I could get this striping effect. I'm in this red section and I'm getting ready to do these large eyelets right here in the center and then I'll do another uh, few rows to balance it out on the other side. And then I'm going to alternate these skeins again down here so that it has, so I really want this whole section to have this striping sequence here and then I'll move on and then and after I'm done with that I dyed uh, this is this is I've had this looks a little raggedy because I've had it in my bag but I dyed we call this uh, Miss Debbie's Christmas tree cakes but I dyed a red and white with green speckles and a green mini and then it has little Let's see if I can show y'all this without them wiggling around. Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. It comes with two of them. So that will go into this and there'll be a whole section of this red and white with green speckles and then I will border it with the green. I love this so much and I I love it. It's just, it's so much fun to do this. So this has been, I'm obsessed with I'm obsessed with this, but I've had to set it down for just a little bit because um, I have been working literally nonstop on you guys literally nonstop. I'm almost I am almost through uh, November mm-hmm. on my this. I liked November. November is so awesome. I mean, I liked all of but them. But this, y'all, <clears throat> look how good it looks. This is my hashtag the Chevron Year Itch. Every color is a month of my Sock Yarn Society. Look at this. It's so good. I love everything about this. This is my favorite favorite 
project I've ever knitted. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you that uh, the 2023 Sock Yarn Society, I'm doing another blanket. It's not going to be this pattern, but I can't wait. I have enjoyed this blanket, this blanket because it gives me something to do with the yarn and I actually am motivated to finish it and complete and get it completed in a timely manner. So we have until the end of January to get it completed before names are drawn for the for a prize. So I'm like working crazy crazy on that. So, so that's I, all I have. I have to be nosy. Jessa, what are you doing? Um, I am taking notes for when I make the description of for uh, the, for the yeah. podcast. I've oh, enjoyed it. Just like yes. Well, you on know, it. she's together. on it. Sometimes, like this last podcast that came out, it took Lucas a little bit to get it edited mm -hmm. and up from the time that we recorded, mm -hmm. and I somewhat forgot about what we had talked about, and mm -hmm. so I don't yes. know that I got everything. In the description of what we talked about that I was supposed to put in the description so this time I'm mm. taking notes yes so um, this will happen after because y'all are gonna we're recording this uh, we're recording this and then and we'll send it to Lucas to edit but Friday the 13th is Jessica's birthday. I was very confused about where, <laughs> where you, you were going. going. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're just so like... Anna made a little <laughs> chalkboard and there is Jessica behind the 31 on her birthday, her knitted birthday cake. And when I, when Jessica was a little girl, I put giant bows in her hair. So Anna thought that she needed a little, big she needed bow. some big old bows in her <laughs> hair. And um, I love the knitted ribbon that you put on. Mm -hmm. So, and then I love the knitted balloons that you did. The cake is knitted too. And the cake is knitted. I think you're, Anna, you're like amazing. Anna's amazing. <laughs> uh, this is, I love the little curly hair you gave me and I love your short haircut <laughs> yeah. on yours. I, I, started to give myself long hair. I was, I was like, thinking oh. you should give yourself a little pony. Maybe I should. That would be cute. Have I ever given us ponies in the in You the have not, forest? but that would be super cute to have all that hair going up and then have a little pony. Mm -hmm. That would um, be sassy. Move your head again. Anna, the eyes don't look as cute on the screen as they do. Right, I was thinking. <laughs> in person. They're going to have to be like zoomed in on. Y'all zoom in. It's so <laughs> So She's adorable. Her Anna eyes, does such a great job. Her and then, little eye, her big eyes are uh, looking they're sideways owl -like. at her mom. Yeah. Like, uh, the bow is so big. And Jessica kept trying to make me move over, move over, move over so that I was wearing the bow. Well, no, I wanted you to be centered in the frame. So but it worked, the chalkboard works the out frame. nicely it, for It turned that out, too. it was so cute. Anna <laughs> is so absolutely talented. But, you guys, the next podcast, if this board is still up, the Celebrate. Which it probably will be. <laughs> yeah. The Celebrate might have to, because that's really annoying me. It's not centered. Um, and then, what was the other thing I was going to, oh, I might redo my hair. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. I I think that you're so talented. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows I think that you're so talented. I Thank love you. all the things that you do. You do a decent job. Thank you. <laughs> I I feel adequate. <laughs> I'm sure for you. Adequate. <laughs> Pinch her in the out. Oh no, it that's me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you mean amateurish? <laughs> That's a side joke. We're not going to go into no. that. <laughs> but um, that's funny. I love it. So um, was it like before, it was before my birthday in October, we had some visitors in the store. Oh, yeah. And hey, 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 hey. Yes, ma'am. So my work in progress right now. <gasps> Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, please share. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you okay. did that. Did I, did I? No, you talked about the things that you finished. Okay. Which was I apologize, Anna. Okay. I'm so, so sorry. So I'm working on a baby vertebrae using the I same yarn that. I used for this. I love the baby vertebrae is my all-time favorite baby sweater. So anyway, that's it. 
and she just she Aww, just she just it. passed on. So, yeah. there's, which there's I not a ton. So yeah. Um, I so Haley, after you left, I think I had to start again. Did you rip it out? Start again? Uh huh. Oh, because I missed a row. Oh, okay. Aww. So anyway, it's so cute. But the baby I am... vertebrae, I love, love, love knitting. If y'all have not knit the baby vertebrae, do it. I'm on row six now. It, I'm using DK. It goes fast. <gasps> what about that? It's worsted weight, not DK. No, it's DK. Do you think you're gonna have to rip out again? Maybe. Um, I just realized uh, I haven't changed to smaller needles. No, okay, no. No. You should yeah. have to. Okay, that's You're right. Okay. I'm good. I'm It'll good, y'all. Okay. It's okay. We're good. Yeah, We're good. You're, you're fine. I, I am nailing it. You're... Who's going to know? No one will know. How will they know? Okay, now, please now. tell us about Barbie. So, was her. it... Do you think it was before my birthday? I think it was. I think so. Be it's like September, October. <sighs> I know. September. That's why I thought you would take this one. Yeah, September, okay. I don't I'm remember exactly when, I like but we had <laughs> visitors at the store, and we were so excited to see them because Maddie over at We Share Needles had been showing us, uh, and everybody who watches, all of these bags made by Barley, Barley Pearls and Barley Pearls, and they are precious. And they came into the store and met us. And then they asked us not to show these yet because we're doing a giveaway with them. And, and they were if, like, they were. They were they were getting ready for the holidays and they had a lot of things or, going on. Yeah. Their bags, y'all, their so bags pretty. are so darn cute and well made. While they were in the shop, I... Ordered Anna, Anna and Luann, literally before they left the, they left out of the doors. They had already ordered uh, bags. They're so cute. We have not used these bags until today, so we've had them since before October, and we have not touched them, put yarn in them, until today. I finally did. When today. they told so me we could, because I won't. You know that mm -hmm. I won't use it until we talk about it. I just can't do it. So um, if you go over to Barley Pearls and you can look them up on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description yes. if you're watching online. If you will go over to their store and you comment on this post. On this video. What your favorite bag is in their shop, you have an opportunity to win a bag from them. Look at this one. You want to show yours, Anna? Um, mm -hmm. Anna picked one without... Anna didn't even give any of us a chance to... S I, I wanted this one mm -hmm. because I loved it so much. True story. She I mean, I don't it. know why she picked this one in particular. Mm -hmm. I do. But it's Lori the color. was just going to be but out of luck. She She's like, this one's Just mine. So. Mm -hmm. And and so... I did that. that I basically I haven't even had a chance to mm -hmm. pick what I want because the girls have taken which ones they want. Mm -hmm. And I'm left with the leftovers. Yeah, which is still gorgeous. Sounds, <laughs> which sounds bad, but I'm actually the winner here in this situation <laughs> because all of them are gorgeous. Show yours. Okay, so... I mean, time I mean, is hello. ticking... It's blue. It is. This one is so precious because I love this retro clock right here. Show the yes. inside. Cause it, and then they have these adorable little matching tabs on the outside of the zippers. The inside. And then there's like a nice little accent pocket. And these are like heavy duty and cotton fabric canvas. Like a, a loop. A little. And I love these. Mm -hmm. And then their okay. logo is literally on it. Yeah. It says Barley Pearl. They are the most precious. They're so precious. I mean, like, she has this little minty green to match this little minty green clock. They're so well made. Oh, it does, I, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, like, look inside. And they're, they're thick and they're yummy and they're gorgeous. And I mean gorgeous. And this one's all mine. This one is Anna's. Oh, 
Look, Barley Pearl. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a picture of this, and you can go to Barley Pearls uh, at Etsy. Yeah, Barley we'll, Pearls. I'll we'll put, put a, this. I'll put a link to their shop in the description. Okay, it's now beautiful. Show yours. And then there's this one, which Jessica has decided she wants because it's mm -hmm. all different kinds of coffee. I like coffee. And, and we we particularly love the little mushrooms down here. It's so pretty. I love and that. then they have. The little end zipper pull that matches, cute little handle, and then, oh, y'all, the inside is this super pretty black and white. There's There are two pockets with the matching coordinating yellow that's on the bottom. It is so roomy inside. I love all the coffee beans all over it mm -hmm. it's, on the outside. It is absolutely precious. So Jessica has chosen this one. And look at mine. And I'm not going to say that mine is not pretty because mine is the prettiest of all of them. It's also the biggest. So can we show the sizes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here. So what do I You hold yours. You hold you this one. And I'll hold this one. No, but they don't get to see the size comparison unless we stack them in front of each other. Okay, but if y'all hold them on each side, okay, they're now you will see the see? size comparison the size? as well. They're see? but look, do this. Yeah, but see, that's not as obvious. Look how big that is. This bag is so gorgeous. I will tell you that I am in love with these sweaters. And the I phrase sweater weather. The gray, and I love sweater weather. Because I'm very southern, and if I can use a Boston accent, I love being able to do that. But look it's at the weather. inside. Love, love, love. I mean, polka dots? That's cute. On gingham? It doesn't get any cuter than this. Like, seriously, how cute is this? I love every single thing about it. I love it, love it, love it. Sweater weather. I'm not, I'm sorry if you're oh, northern and I'm so, butchering it. I'm sorry. But I'm in love with it. I know I've like already, I almost uh, purchased another bag last night. But I. Their bags are so gorgeous. kind of like behind on saving money. So <laughs> I, I had to abandon ship. But there's Nothing. this one that I still might do it anyway. Get it has coral. mushrooms. It's blue and has mushrooms. Haley said she wanted the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you better get it before Haley because mm. you're about to lose it. It is so pretty. Their bags are so gorgeous. So, y'all, do yourself a favor. Go over to Barley Pearls and Etsy. You can look them up on Instagram. Jessica's going to link everything for you. Go on and type in your favorite bag, and uh, we're going to pull a prize winner for you. Okay, next. So, uh, next, y'all. Do you get the Sock Yarn Society? Because if you do, you saw something like this. I designed this with the sexy knitter, and guess what she made me? A big bag <laughs> just like it. But look. Oh yeah, it's Louis Vuitton. <laughs> she made this just for me. She said that I am one of a kind, and this bag is one of a kind, and she made it just for me. I am so in love with her I little like triangle bags. I think they're so awesome. Hey, I know. What color is that zipper? The zipper is hot pink. What and about I, the fabric on it? I, there's a brown on it, but I don't. Um, the zipper is hot <laughs> pink, and it is so darn cute. And no one has one of these but me. So in the sock yarn society, I gave y'all Louis Vuitton. And Kate Spade, because we roll like that. I love this so, so much. Sexy Knitter, y'all. Also, if you are a member of the Sock Yarn Society, you got a discount code for her website. And so you could go in there, and I think that you got 20% off anything in her store. So do yourself a favor and go shop over at the Sexy Knitter. We adore her things. I like her little um, I love logo. her logo because it's a black, super high heel. Mm -hmm. 
I think that that probably has a red sole on it because it looks, it looks like Christian mm-hmm. Louboutin. It does. And then it has a ball of yarn and two and a knit, and knitting needles coming out of it. And it's yeah. like, it's very sexy. It is cute. I love her so much. Did you get any other acquisitions? I got a mug. You did. My Christmas movie. It's her favorite. <laughs> that she like knows, literally one. knows every single word of. <laughs> I, I was worried uh, that I was going to annoy um, <coughs> she some <did>. people, <laughs> but I still <laughs> didn't stop. Uh, but uh, I just, like, everything is so cool. Like, you could, like, side-eye over at her, and she's like this. <laughs> I, yeah, it is the only you Christmas are, movie. Anna loves it. And Die Hard. I also watch Die Hard. Uh, so on the back it says... I love it. Raised by elves. It was it? We had so much fun. Our advent calendar was elf this year, mm-hmm. and Anna, Anna is like all over it. She loved it. Mm-hmm. I did. I'm happy that you. I mean, it's the only. It's the only Christmas movie we picked out. Our, I mean, some people say that Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie, I don't but think I it did is. watch it as a Christmas um, movie. We picked out our advent calendar. For next year. Mm -hmm. It's a secret. I'm not going to tell y'all, but I want to tell y'all. It's so good. I'm really excited about it. Do you have acquisitions? I do. I have a couple more. I I do, but I also have finished objects. (laughs) Well, okay. Do you want to, do you want to like interrupt our acquisitions for your finished objects or do you want to (coughs) wait? I mean, you just kind of skipped over me. Anna started with her finished objects. (laughs) <laughs> oh, sorry. That's how we roll around here. Okay, um, show your finished objects. No, that's okay. You can finish your no, stuff. No, no, go ahead. No, finish your stuff. Okay. Okay, I will. <laughs> um, we're getting ready to have a knit along here in the store, and it is a cardigan knit along. I think it's starting in February. February first. And my sweet, sweet very longtime friend Denise from Fig and Posy Fiber Company dyed this gorgeous yarn for me and this is called Hot Kitty Mm -hmm. and then she dyed this RGB 2019 for me and I plan on let me just show you all of the yummy goodness this is gonna be a cardigan for me and I cannot wait this this is gonna be a Lamana, L A M A N A Lamana cardigan. <coughs> it looks very plain when you see it on Ravelry. I'm fairly certain it's called Lamana Luxury. It is cardigan. called the Lamana Luxury cardigan, and it looks very plain, and you would just scroll on. It's also a free pattern. It is, and it's beautiful. I actually have it in the store, knitted with hand dyed yarn. And it's stunning. And it's like the perfect, cozy, snuggly sweater. Oh. So that's what this is going to be. Are you okay? You dying <laughs> over there. I sure am. <laughs> um, is that the... Is that the sweater that Lindsay always wears? Yes, Lindsay wants it all the... Every time Lindsay's in here, she wants it. Is it the fluff from the mohair? It's making you cough? <laughs> no, it's... it's wrong. You swallowed wrong? You you're not your supposed to. Up. You're not supposed to inhale your liquids, right? <laughs> she does. Well, now I know. <laughs> but it's oh. absolutely, it's absolutely gorgeous yarn. Uh, Denise, Denise does such a beautiful job with with her yarn. It's so beautiful. So um, um, go over the- and check out Fig and Posy Fiber Company. She's not going to be dying anymore. She's not going to be dying anymore, but she has yarn hmm. right now still on her website. Go help a sister out because, and buy up the, what she has left because it's stunning. Everything she dyes is absolutely gorgeous, big and posy fiber company. And then for Christmas, and I forgot to show this last time. So I dyed my very, very good friends over at Three by the Sea. Are and we doing two giveaways in one podcast? I'm still going to show their yarn. So okay. um, we're going to give one away. It's not going to be two, It's not going to be in the next <coughs> one, but we will huh. do it again. But I ordered yarn. They dye yarn now. 
and I have had this for quite some time before Christmas. I apologize for the crinkling. Yeah, you should have taken that out. And I should have. <laughs> but I want you to know it's fresh. And um, I dyed yarn. I bought yarn from them. And I'm like super in love with it. Um, this is called Christmas 2022 Shiny Bright. Y'all look at that. How could I not get this? It's Jessica and me. There's some little blue in here for all three of us are represented in this skein of yarn. I couldn't not have it and it's on sparkle. So three by the sea, they dye yarn now and their yarn is gorgeous. Their stitch markers are gorgeous. Their bags are gorgeous. Literally everything they do is gorgeous. And they sent me an extra skein of yarn and this is called Cookies for Santa to give away to one of you. So, not this podcast, and I will talk about this again next podcast, but they're, they're giving one, they sent one to give away to well, you, the, so the, I want you to know that. The next podcast will be giving away the bag. Right. So, it'll be the one, the one after. after that. Exactly. So three podcasts but from this one. I want you to know that uh, y'all are going to have an opportunity to win this beautiful skein of yarn cookies for Santa from them. So, um, that is all the acquisitions that I have. Is that all that you have? That's it. You want to sh Oh! No! I forgot to tell y'all that Anna gave me this beautiful skein of yarn from Two Sisters. <laughs> I have quite a number of Two Sisters in my stash. Mm. I did not know that I had so many. Mm. And Anna gave me this beautiful one, beautiful one called... Yeah. My bloody Valentine. She picks the most charming names for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it makes me feel loved. I'm oh, guess what? Because I gave her such a hard time because she gave me non-sparkle and gave Jessica sparkle from well, see, the good was, noodle. That was unavoidable. It was. It was. So oh, yeah. she actually gave me uh, sparkle Ooh. yarn. It's Isn't that so pretty? I can't wait to do something with this. It's probably going to be um, it's probably going to be the checker work hat for myself. I love it. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah, I made it for Lucas for Christmas. Oh, that's right. The okay. checker work hat. Never mind. Um, I don't know that one. It's so beautiful. It actually looks like you missed it. It actually looks like um, <laughs> almost <laughs> looks like uh Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. intar uh, mm -hmm. intarsia. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. intarsia. It actually looks, it almost looks like intarsia. It's so beautiful. Yeah, the way that it knits up is interesting. It's so beautiful. So okay, Missy. Okay, um, I definitely don't have everything that I was given for Christmas. Um, because I'm not entirely certain where some of it got moved to. Um, oh, that is oh, not it's not at me. your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going there again. <laughs> it, it, it could have been at your house. Um, it wasn't it's... moved to my house. I know. <laughs> we know. I think Anna knows that. Um, so I was given this bag oh, for so Christmas, cute. um, which is from Stitching Plaza. Georgian makes the most gorgeous bags. And Jessica had gone to Disney for her honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw that, I had to get it for her. I so put stuff away. That's fine. Um, and I was given... Well, let me open up the top so you can see it. I was given this bag. Um, which is the Christmas, Fast Pass. Which is all the, the Fast Passes. Um from Disney. Mm -hmm. Also, this is also from Georgiana at the Stitching Plaza. Um, I purchased for myself this Animal Crossing bag, which I might have shown last time. I don't remember. I think you did show mm -hmm. that last time. It's from Maddie's oh, mom, yeah. which is Kelly D. Kelly E. McD. Kelly E. McD. Um, Her bags are gorgeous, too. Mm -hmm. And then... I recently acquired a Bucky's blanket 
and a Bucky's matching Bucky's t-shirt. I went t-shirt, to Bucky's. The Valen on your vacation. Oh, um, on my three-day weekend, I went to Bucky's. Fairly certain you had a four-day weekend. Okay, what's three days or four days? It's still like twenty-four weekend. hours. It's like long. <laughs> Y'all, can you please comment for me that four days is a long weekend? Okay, how many vacations are you taking this year? I two. You're not counting the work trip as a what work trip in September? In September, you're not counting your. Weekend with friends as a... I'm not counting weekend with friends as a vacation. It's <laughs> a retreat. Um, but <laughs> I also received a mug. Because Jessa loved Harry... Uh, she loved Winnie the Pooh when she was a little girl. And her wedding vows had Winnie the Pooh. And when Anna and I were at TJ Maxx, Jessica's favorite store, I saw that. I had to have it. <laughs> so precious. Like you. So precious. Um, but that's all of the <laughs> acquisitions that I have with me. Although I did show one earlier because it's in my socks. Um, mm-hmm. But I do have a few finished items. Um, since the podcast, I finished my Christmas socks. Um, they're so I finished pretty. them pretty. on now Christmas. Now I want to do mine because they're so pretty. Um, this is from Freckled Whimsy. Yes. This is her Advent sock her for... Advent. Um, and I so did pretty. the vanilla reversed um, sock pattern. Um, so I really enjoyed the those. The heel on those are super pretty. They are. Um, and last night I finished, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this in my stories, but I finished my painted bricks socks from Stephen West. Um, and so those I are now love, finished. I love um, the stripes on And the, all of these... The all of these colors are scraps. So the teal is leftover um, yarn. It was Dragon Horde. Oh, um, from your uh, from my Bright Axis Bright tea. Bright Axis tea. Um, and then I use this color in a lot of my stuff. So there's no telling what this yeah. leftover is specifically. from. Specifically. Um, specifically, but I've got the, the lime green in here. It could have been from any Stephen West. Um, I've got the sage advice green in here. Um, I've got, um, this is leftover knitting needles, I think, this yes. gray. Um, and then opening day, I've used that in several well, different things. And you things. did Lucas's socks in that color. Yeah, it might have been, it might have been from that, and it might have been leftover yeah. from my weekender. I'm not entirely certain. We do certain. that color a lot. Um, and then this burgundy is left over from this year's um, yarn crawl sweater. Yes. Um, oh, uh, what was that called? Uh, that was called the Chevron. Shaman? No. No. Not Chevron shenanigans. Uh, the boxy Chevron. Boxy Chevron. From That's right. uh, Dragon Horde's little sister, Sinful Knits. Sinful Yarns. This is her colorway. Yeah. Sinful um, but yarn. it was, uh, I think it was called Red Wine. But yeah. yes, these are all scraps. I did these, I did this entire pair of socks out of scraps. Um, I love and it. that's kind of my goal this year with the West Knits. We year do of socks end up with a lot of scraps. Is I want to either use scraps if I can or yarn that I already have in stash. So I'm not going to grab, my plan is to not grab any new yarn um, with plan. the year of knits, that's the year really of good socks. Plan. Um, so there's that. Um, and then I finished my cable crush hoodie. Um, Christmas morning, um, and I wore it for Christmas. It's so pretty. Look at the hood. Um, the hood is cute. Um, I the did The entire enjoy. thing is precious. Um, and the hood is the um, the hood does have a an edging on it, um, which you're supposed to sew down with an eye with a, for a with a cording um, for a casing mm-hmm. to make it drawstring. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave it rolled. I like the way that it's finished. I love it. I think it's super pretty, Jessica. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to try it on. It's so pretty. 
I love it. I enjoyed it. Mm, uh, take it. And I definitely... <laughs> <laughs> he can have it. And I definitely would make it again. Oh, yeah. It's adorable. Um, I think it's cute. I love how quickly it worked out. I love the sleeves. I'm, like, a huge fan of the way the sleeves turned out. I like the cables. Mm-hmm. I love the cables. I love the arms. I love it. Um, it's gorgeous. Somebody had said to me here in the shop, well, those cables are really close. They did say that. And I was, for some reason, I was thinking, like, the she meant, like, the length between the twists. And I was thinking, well, there's ten rows in between each of those. And she's like, no, there's, like, no space between cables. And I'm yeah, thinking, oh, it is just one stitch. I guess that yeah. is pretty close. Um, it is, because usually they're spread out more, but yeah. I think it's quite uh, lovely. But the cables are on the front and in the back. Um and she's got cable crush joggers as well. Ooh, are um, you going to do those? I don't know. That would be... I'm like a big fan of the joggers. I want a pair. I definitely would like mm-hmm. to make a pair of knitted joggers. I think that I need to lose some weight before I do a pair of joggers for me. Or you Because just... I feel like I won't like them on I me. think you just don't... I think you're just not happy with your size. If think, you were happy with your size, you would be fine making yourself joggers for your size. I agree with that. I need to, I need to just kind of, um, I need to drop a few pounds in my booty area hmm. since I'm going to a beach mm-hmm. for vacation. For vacation. For your oh, birthday. that is not of on my clothes. birthday. That is a vacation. <laughs> that is a vacation. <laughs> Going to the beach for Just my birthday. Vacation. For my going, birthday. <laughs> you're going to Bora Bora for ten days for your that birthday. Is a vacation. That is a vacation. There are no. Just because that is a vacation, but four days is not a vacation. Well, and then when I go to your house to watch your dog for ten days, I pay you. I do pay you. Hold on, don't get defensive. And I just want people to know. <laughs> Hold on. That I don't just expect it. Hold on. <laughs> don't get defensive because this is on Lucas. Do you want me to pay Anna? <laughs> when you go on vacation and I go watch your dog for 10 days at Lucas your house, also gets a vacation. Lucas <laughs> says that I get a vacation. And I'm like, no, well, I still have legit. to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> but, is, no, Lucas. But you do avoid responsibility, other than for I avoid Molly. responsibility at the house. Why would why would that be different any different? Set of responsibility. <laughs> you should edit this part out. <laughs> no, no, he'll leave this part in. This part he'll leave in. <laughs> this part he'll leave in. Wow. So mm. yes. Um, they give me a hard time. I don't go on vacation all the very often. I don't go on vacation very often. At least three times a year. I do have two vacations planned this year. I always think that while you're out of town, I should take my dog to meet your dog. Well. Yeah, that's it. Are you saying you want to take over Jessica's job at my house? No. Um, the only reason why I don't have you do it is because I'm afraid of what my house will look like when I get home. <laughs> Just whenever with I with Jessica, I know it's going to be exactly the same. When I hang out with Jessa over at your house, when you're I know gone, you do, I'm Anna's right. like, "Can I move the footstool from mm-hmm. your bedroom into my bedroom?" To be fair, for all of the four all beds, of my beds, for all of the four beds in the house. You have to take a running jump. Yeah, you do. Okay. All of my dads are super. <laughs> super <laughs> guys, you see, our our like, I'm not this tall. I I am I'm not. Maggie tall. says she, she thought you would be yeah. taller. <laughs> that was like one of the first things Maggie said to me, and it cracked me up so hard. Is I thought you'd be taller. Yeah, and then I wasn't <laughs> here when Maggie was here, and and I guess guess what she said to me? She thought I would be taller. <laughs> Cracked me up so bad. But see, my torso. You have a long torso. My legs, however, are these They're this stubby thing. And so, like, the first time I stayed over in the guest bed, I, I was like... They're tall. <laughs> like, my my mattress hits here on me. So, I like, when I stay in the guest, one of the guest beds upstairs, if I stand with, like, my butt against the side of the bed, I have to put my hands up and, like, jump So to get up in the bed. This is 
what I'm going for. The feel of Princess and the P. But so without the P. P is Scott. I call him Scotty Potty. Oh. <laughs> He's the P. So um Princess. Yeah. Going to P. bed with P. I I like my <laughs> bed super tall. And she likes And they're pee. like fluffy and snuggly and yeah and you can't roll around because the bed yeah. swallows they you whole they suck you in also you don't want to move around too much because you could fall off and break something <laughs> they're decadent <laughs> I like my beds to feel decadent when you're there'd be some injury if you fell off of yeah. that some people say I think say you need to get pe- three more stools people say that they have the best night's sleep in my beds I sleep the absolute worst when I stay at your house. <laughs> you know what? They they think to themselves, this is the best, because they're not able to get out of the bed because they'd have to get back in the bed. And so they're just like, you know what? Just just go to sleep and stay you asleep. Shut up, bladder. <laughs> you don't need to pee. <laughs> I mean, it, your house creaks and Molly barks at every little thing and keeps me up all night. You should just keep Molly oh, in the you should, bed. You should just put some earplugs in and then you'll be fine. <laughs> like you? Yes. I'm telling you, I put earplugs in and I hear nothing. Except for, oddly, my alarm. Hmm. I hear my alarm perfectly fine. But I hear nothing. I hear my alarm multiple times in the morning because I <laughs> hit snooze. Over, over, and up. I don't. I, I had a roommate that did that all the time. Like, she would set it for five in the morning and hit the snooze. That's, like, ridiculous. It was. And now I've, I'm, like, halfway to her. And wow. I, I think, why am I doing this? Exactly. But it's because I want my sleep. Yeah. Well, seeing as you go to bed at like four in the morning and get up at like six to go to the coffee shop by eight. Is that what time you're down there? No. But I do leave the house at like. Yeah, some, it depends. It depends on the day. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I was thinking you got here around nine ish. I, I think I mostly do. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I wanna... do, we, do we have anything else? Hey, y'all, we missed you. It's been a little while since we've podcasted. But we've, not, like, horribly. No. It hasn't. We're better. We're way better this time. Mm-hmm. We were going to podcast last week, and then... It was me. Was it you? It was I me. I think it was, like, a joint thing of things I wasn't were feeling, running late, and I you wasn't weren't feeling things, yeah, well. Things just and, didn't work out for yeah. us to record last week. It's super hard getting three people. Well, and we had, like, a, a late... A late guest or we did. It, it was like a um it's a combination of things it was and we decided Working that it just wasn't some, yeah. yeah it sometimes it just works that way because um what a lot of people lose track of is we're not just indie dyers in the store but we also run a full service yarn store and so well, there's also three of us and it's there's really three hard of us. for us to get consistent yeah. sometimes yeah but also, um, mostly, it's just your fault. It was a lot my fault. <laughs> but we are we are gonna try to the be better this year. Perils about, of a diva. <laughs> we are gonna try to be better this year about Working on being it. more consistent. Hey, guess what we're doing? Uh, guess what we're doing in the store, which I'm super excited about. We are having trunk shows every single month. Mm. So far, we're booked through April for yes. sure. We've got a tentative for July, and we've got a tentative, yes. for, and we're good. And we definitely have one scheduled for October. The July one is a big name, and I'm not going to tell you who yet. Um, if what we would like for you to do, in addition to commenting your favorite mm. bag in the comments below for a chance to win um, a Barley bag Pearl. from Barley Pearls, yes, um, tell us some of your favorite yarn dyers that you would love to see us like showcase we have in the four store. coming up that are so freaking amazing mm-hmm. we cannot even like, that would be fun we can't even be excited opinion. to tell you how many how, who favorite. they are yeah, yeah give, us, wanna, give us a name that you'd love to love to share with us or you'd love mm-hmm. to see us support in the store um tell us some of your favorite yarn dyers because mm-hmm. we love seeing what other people are and who you uh, love who, we love who you love yeah 
so we definitely we definitely have some really cute things coming up um and keep an eye on our instagram keep an um if you don't already have our shopping app our on for on your um iphone or android phone um download that because i send out push notifications every so often so that's a good way to get information um and sign up for our newsletter yeah. because we'll send all of that information out we do. that was we, dirty i know <laughs> i know um it's payback okay so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and share this because you guys are gonna be like what is dirty you <laughs> I texted them to say, okay, I have to pee. So I immediately <laughs> pushed push your bladder. bladder. I'm like, I'm going to die. <laughs> That's how I roll around here. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. We're so kind to each other. Yes, we love each other so much that we'll jab each other in the bladder. <laughs> um, we love, we love y'all so much. Mm-hmm. And we appreciate that you take the time to watch us and be a part of us and uh, leave us some comments. We love that. Hit subscribe, like, thumbs up. Am I forgetting anything? Like and thumbs up is the same thing. I like that. <laughs> I um, like that. Maybe she means like. Oh, uh, hit the uh, notification. I don't know. If, if you enjoyed our video. She Please says give us better. a like. Do all the things. Um, because we like to know that you liked it, and it does good things for our channel, I guess. They um, say that it does. It's supposed to let people know that, or it's supposed to let the algorithm know that people like our stuff, and it yes. will share our stuff with other people. Yes. Um, if you don't already subscribe to our channel, please do so. Um, that way you can get notifications when we post, yes. put up new videos like this one. Um, if you you want to get notified you have to let the internet know that you want a notification yeah um if you don't already please follow all three of us on instagram we um, love that the most because we like interacting with y'all on there we, we like seeing what you're posting and we like and you get to see the new things that we have coming out yes um at the very least follow us at arkansas yarn co please. on instagram because that's where we will post new things about the store yes um we enjoyed hanging out with you tonight so much um, so much and we y'all were... make sure that you support me with them mm. and give me some backup but that's not necessary yeah don't lie to her it's totally fine for you to be on mine and anna's side be the correct side because they already gang up on me and i'm all alone here in the she's middle she's poking my bladder i <laughs> <laughs> poking her bladder um Thank y'all so much for joining us, and we will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.